Well, hello, YouTube. Welcome to Dude RV. Well, as you can see, there is no RV. Miss V RV is stored for the moment. Got a couple of uh, a trip planned in a couple weeks. I'll be hitting the road in a couple weeks. Right now, I'm in the garage getting ready to start a little project. And I, if you've been following along, you know I've been running Little Red for about a little over three years now. Prior to running Little Red, I was running Big Red, the Challenger. And I moved into Little Red for a couple of reasons, but uh, man, I've had problems with that scooter since day one. Right now, it's on the bench at Rabbi Jesus, Jesus is? At, down at Rabbi Jesus' place, uh, where he's totally rewiring the wiring, rebuilding the wiring harness, because it was just sloppy. But a couple weeks ago, one of my subscribers and followers, friends, uh, Mr. Kohler, way out in California, now, he, he and I have exchanged some contact over the, the years, and he was really he liked my Challenger X videos when he was when I was riding that. When I was running the Challenger X, Mr. Kohler reached out to me and asked me some questions, and then he went and found one that was pre-owned. And over the last several years, he's modified that Challenger, and he just recently sent me pictures. And that got me so excited because he did such a fantastic job. That, that is a, a, it just looks cool. Here, check out the pictures. Isn't that cool? He's, he's done some really neat mods and I'm gonna follow in his steps and I, I hope mine turn out as, as good as his. He's, he set the bar pretty high. So what I, I plan to do with Big Red I've just recently upgraded the batteries. I went back with the SLA batteries, bumped up the 12 volt, 12 amp SLAs to 12 volt, 15 amp SLAs to see if I can get uh, some more range out of the Challenger. What I'm going to do is remove and replace the fiberglass deck with a piece of diamond plate aluminum and just totally eliminate the red fairing. And I really like the way he removed this component here. And really all this is, it's a two-way switch, a headlight, and a, a power bar. And you can see I have a power level over here, so it's duplicated. I'm going to install this bad boy because this one is not very bright. This one is very bright. And if this one is not bright enough, uh, I'm gonna do two down here, a double, double whammy, somehow. I've already got it set up, to just mount right there. Since I'm gonna be getting rid of the fairing, I will no longer have my tail lights. I've got a tail light bar think that will look better and then I've got a couple of strip LED orange amber LEDs that'll go on the front for just more of an, a look effect than anything else. Now to make that light work I'm going to use a, a super night voltage regulator that's designed for golf cart it'll convert the 48 volt to 12 volt and then I'm going to so to power this, I'm going to open up this, and from past experience, I know that I can I can solder a couple of wires to the positive and neutral leg, and run that down into the base, connect to that. That way, the switch here will power the lights. So I'll have a wires running down to this and then coming back up to the new headlight. I'll also have that, this will also be powering the new tail light and the amber marker lights. 
So that's, that's the plan, man. There you have it. The Challenger 2. The Challenger 2.0. Spent a little time working on it. Still have one more thing to do. But as you can see, I've replaced the, uh, the floor with a sheet of aluminum diamond plate replaced the grips went ahead and left that in place put on the headlight hold on we got to shut the garage door all right garage door shut now check this out look at the headlight on that bad boy right, we're gonna we're gonna turn off the light for full effect. Look at that. How cool is that? Lots of like, tail light action going on there. And the one thing, I, one more. Oh, there's actually, I said there was one thing I want to do. There's actually two things that I want to do. I'm going to put on a new front wheel because that one's starting to get bald. And I want to put a switch to control this. So I have like a high beam and a low beam. Because that, that sucker is really bright. Challenger 2.0. Should be getting the triad back. Of course, we're finding that's got some really crazy electrical stuff going on with it. So hopefully in a couple weeks I'll have it back up and running. But meanwhile, I'm no longer afoot. The next, here in the very near future, you're going to see the video of me uh, at the Dallas RV show. And fortunately, I got the Challenger back up and running before the RV show. And I was able to scoot the RV show. So... Hey, I appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned. Thank you so much. Y'all come back now, you hear?